Westworld is a show that is based on the 1973 film of the same name. It constantly gets compared to Game of Thrones with all of the sex that is in the show and all of the action and gore that helps make the show what it is. With a futuristic theme park, or world should I say, it is a great concept with perfect casting, strong narratives and exceptional acting. But with the show constantly keeping you wanting to watch more and almost wishing you could pay 40k to enter Westworld, what actually are the five most powerful moments in the show? I'm Brain Pilot, and that's exactly what I'm going to tell you. Before we go ahead, just to let you know, there will be spoilers. Number five, Ford's speech. With Teresa snooping her nose around and trying to take what power Ford has away from his own park, Ford decides to take her to a restaurant within the park to have a discussion with her. The delivery that Anthony Hopkins has when delivering a threat in such a passive aggressive way was incredible to watch, and you couldn't take your eyes off of the screen. Allowing Teresa to know that he knows everything that goes on within his creation and everything that herself and the board is up to, as well by taking her to the restaurant that she ate in on the exact table with her family many years ago, whilst the rest of the world was frozen and moving to Ford's every command was a perfect way to show us just how powerful Ford is. Number four, the man in the black hat is William. Throughout the whole of the season, there is a mystery that is, who is the man in the black hat? All we knew was that he was not a host and that he terrorizes all of the hosts in there, creating a new story for himself as he seeks to enter the center of the world, believing that there is a different level to the game. All the time whilst this is going on, you follow the story of a business owner and his vice president of the company taking a trip to Westworld. And amongst this story, there is the narrative of William, the vice president, falling in love with the main character, Dolores. After Dolores goes on the run, William is fixated on finding her and being with her. As the story goes on in the final episode, you find out that the man in the black hat is in fact William, and he spent several years trying to find her. And then when he finally did, he realized that she didn't even recognize him. An amazing reveal and a real gut-hitting moment. Number three, Bernard is Arnold. Alongside Dr. Ford as the creator of Westworld, there was his partner called Arnold, who was this mysterious figure that you never knew the identity of. All we know is that he didn't want the park to open and that he got fixated on the hosts and the possibility of them becoming self-aware. He was in opposition to Dr. Ford and we are led to believe that he had something to do with Arnold's death, when in reality it was Arnold who took his own life at the hands of Dolores. After hearing the story, it turns out that Ford's right-hand man Bernard is in actual fact not only a host, but he is a host that is a straight replica of Dr. Ford's partner, Arnold. After all of the mystery and wondering who it might actually be, it was Bernard all along. Number two, Dr. Ford's final speech. Throughout the show, you never know whether or not Dr. Ford is the enemy or not, but at the same time, you can't help but like him. With the pressure of the board pushing for his retirement, he doesn't want to see his world that he has been playing God with for all of those years be taken over. So, in his final speech, he explains how his new narrative is about the hosts becoming new people and facing decisions that they have to make. He takes the side of Arnold and allows the hosts to find the proverbial maze and discover true consciousness, thus giving the world back to his creations and not to the board. Then, just as Arnold was killed with a shot to the back of the head by Dolores, Dr. Ford's speech ended with him being killed in the exact same way in front of a crowd. The perfect way to finish the series. Number one, Bernard is a host. After a season of loving the character Bernard and there always being a mystery around him, there was a reveal partway through the season that he was in fact a host. After a meeting with Teresa, somebody who Bernard was close to, they went to Dr. Ford's secret workshop within Westworld where he had been creating his own hosts and fixing them up in secret. Teresa stumbled across some paperwork which had drawings of models of hosts. Of course, as she lifted up one of the pieces of paper, it had blueprints on the creation of Bernard. Then, to Teresa's dismay, Dr. Ford was standing right behind Bernard and was ready to show off just how in control of Bernard he was. As if this scene wasn't powerful enough, it followed then by Bernard killing Teresa there in Dr. Ford's workshop. Definitely the most powerful moment in the show. Do you agree with this list? Let me know what you think the most powerful moment is. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.